on Adam Christ from MyMMANews.com being joined by my man Travis Nothing to Something Kramer. A little under a week ahead of his bout at King of the Cage Capital Punishment. He'll be taking on Tyler Collins September 7th. Like I said, it's just the time's winding down. Travis, man, I appreciate you taking the time and being on. How are you, my friend? Uh, it's good. I'm good, man. It's always a pleasure doing uh, interviews with you. I've been going on a couple years now. Yeah, man. But, uh, I'm super excited. It's been uh, November would be three years since Out of the Cage. Yeah. So a return is uh, well needed. Um, and what makes it even greater is the fact that it's right here in my hometown, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. So and at the farm show at that, you know, so I'm super stoked. Um, I hope Harrisburg's stoked. I hope the MMA world's stoked. So, you know, I'm ready to do it. I mean, you've gotten yourself quite a bit of the fan base. I mean, you went out to the, the BKFC tryouts. You've you made your name for yourself in PA. Everybody knows who Travis Nothing to Something Kramer is. It's a, it's a brand name in the PA, in the PA to be you know to say lightly. But uh, so it's why it. the long layoff, bro? Why why did it take so long? And why come back now? Why is now the time? Ah oh, man, well, um, uh, a lot of it had to do with my past relationship. Um, just uh, a lot of negativity. Um, I, you know, at the end of the day, I don't take my loss as well when it comes to fights and stuff like that, especially when I get, like, give it my all. So, like, mm-hmm. a little bit, I kind of felt sorry for myself, uh, just felt like a complete failure. Um, but really, I shouldn't have because I fought a tough dude in Jimmy Jordan, you know what I mean? He was a yes. seasoned pro, um, six and three compared to my four fight record, you know, and I didn't win, but I lost the decision, you know, but since that, I was like, you know, I'm going to take a little break and it's kind of like taking like your year off of uh after your senior year in high school you know like that um you take a year off to wait to go to college ends up being more than one year right. so i got kind of uh, i got caught up in that mix but with with the shitty relationship in the past like <clears throat> when i finally got away from that you know and i talked to you last time with you know you know uh, my new girlfriend like she she's really inspired me and motivated me to come back to you know she said she would it just started off with her saying it'd be awesome to see a lot of fight you know what i mean so mm-hmm. It was really cool to have someone really support me on the on the good end of it, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And to and I mean at the end of the day I love fighting, you know. Right. So Everybody right. knows that. <laughs> but like uh it also kind of I lost interest. It, it wasn't fun anymore when I actually turned pro, like actually getting paid for it where I to myself I turned it into like a job where I don't want it to be a job, you know what I mean? Yeah. I want to do something that I enjoy doing all the time. So at, at at times I'd be like, man, I had way more fun as an Amy, you know. And but at the end of the day, I'm motivated, man. I'm I'm, uh, I'm in shape. I'm ready to roll, man. So uh, and for it to be in Harrisburg, dude, like you know, right now is the perfect time uh, for a well-known promotion. Um, you know, for an opportunity for the whole world to actually get to see who I am now, even as for you know. Five minutes, if I, if I knock him out in the first round, for goes for the full fight, you know what I mean? So, like, I'm just, I'm super excited, I'm stoked, everyone else seems to be, and I'm just ready to rock, man. So, how's training camp been going, man? Getting back in the mix of things? Um, there been a little bit of ring rust to work off? Like, tell me, how's that been going, getting transitioned and back into things? Um, it's, uh, I'm not gonna lie, it hasn't been, it hasn't been what I wanted or I envisioned it to be this camp, but besides that, I've had shitty camps before, so I've always, I've always, you know, come through in the end, but, um, you know, I moved twice, um, uh, jobs, you know, money issues, not be able to travel when I, sh- you know, probably can, uh, laziness, uh, procrastination. Um, but at the end of the day, it's tough because when I actually got full, full into it, you know, it's not just the working out, but the, you know, time management, working, um, seeing my kid, um, just dealing with a whole bunch of stuff, you know what I mean? But, Without trying to make excuses, when I do go and train, and you know, it it, it, seems, it goes well. You know, uh, the transition back to to the fighting, you know, it's just knocking a little dust off, and you know, I'm crisp, I'm fast again. I feel great. You know, what I mean, I'm I'm not in the shape that I ideally want to be, but I'm ready to fight no matter what. You know, what I mean, so practices do go well um, when I when I do do them. Uh, and now, you know, at this point in time, we're just uh, concentrating on the weight, man, losing these last couple pounds. So I really can't complain too much, but I probably could have done more. But either way, I'm ready to roll, man. 
So what do you know about uh, Tyler Collins? You know, um, both you guys are coming off of two losses. You know, both you guys trying to snap that uh, consecutive loss streak. So, you know, he's trying to look for his first win in the cage. What do you know about him? Um, I honestly don't know too much about him. I've done my little bit of homework. What I can do, I looked up his record. Look, we fought. Um, you know, he's out of Ohio. Um, looking at him, uh, he looks tough. You know, he's he's six foot. You know, so he's another tall 55er. Uh, but he looks very strong. Um, I've watched a couple of his fights. I'm not underestimating him whatsoever, but I believe that my striking is way better than his. Um, I don't mean to say like way better to be like a dick, but just like, just, you know, I, I just think my stand up is better. I believe he's going to look to wrestle, you know, try to use his strength against me. Um, he's going to as a pro. I mean, I'm two and three. I think I've fought tougher people. Um, you know, I've been in certain positions of the fight and I can, you know, that were, um, nothing like that will bother me mentally, you know, whether it's shit talking or being main event or this and that, you know, like I, I seem to compose myself well. I believe when I fight, um, I just, you know, I think I outclass him in all aspects of the game. But um, other than that, like, I'm, you know, I don't really know too much. So, so I was going to ask, man, you have your uh, your longtime trainer in your corner. You guys looking good with your pad work, Manny Rose. What has he been as far as, you know, an inspiration in your career? What has he done for you? Oh, man, he's done a lot because I could take it all the way back to when, um, well, at the end of the day, he's a, he's a correctional officer. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and I met him in prison. So me being on the other end, um, years ago, um, uh, I always heard of him through my family, my uncle box back in the day, Louis Oliveri, not, you know, in the Amy world, stuff like that, but the circuit around Harrisburg wasn't real big and every, every fighter knew each other. So, um, I, used to, uh, I introduced myself to him. I told him who my uncle was, and I guess him and my uncle actually had to be from back in the day. But it was kind of funny how that was because I was like, right. well, shit, I didn't make a good introduction for myself, so now you're <laughs> probably going to think I'm a douchebag or something like that. Yeah. But in the end, like, I, I studied his career. Um, you know, he was he was around back in the Blackman days when Blackman mm-hmm. MMA was popping here in Harrisburg. Um, and he's, you know, he has his boxing career. He's a national champ at a lock haven. Uh, you know, he did his thing here in Harrisburg. He's a tough dude, but not only has he been a coach, but he's just been a, like a fabulous role model, almost like father type figure. Um, yeah. he's been there for all my fights. Um, he's a coach that I've absolutely clicked with and, you know, he's been there pretty much my whole career. Uh, he does so much, man. Like he offers free practice in the morning. Like if you, if you're there, he'll teach, you know what I mean? Like. So it's really cool. He charges nothing, um, but he's just—he's just—he's a, he, a fun person to be around. He—he uh, he adapts to my to my fight style, and we just like we click very well, man. So like, shout out to Manny Rose. I can't wait. He's super excited about the fight too. So, but. so if I had to ask you, you said your striking is way is levels above his, and obviously no disrespect, but. Is that the only glaring strength that you see over him going into this bout? What strengths do you see over him without giving too much of your game plan away that you think you can absolutely capitalize on? I think experience. Yeah. Um, you know, I have a couple more fights in, but I have more Emmy fights in too, and I tried to say I tried to stay seasoned as possible. Yeah. Um, but I think the experience will have a lot to do with it. Um, I think with him being outside of his hometown, it might knock him out of his element a little bit. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, I've seen his fights. Um, to me, they're not too exciting. But again, I don't want to be like, this isn't the type of dude I just want to trash talk. You know what I mean? Like, I, I respect the cat. Like, you know, he's fighting. We're fighting. We're, we're here to do our thing either way. But, um, you know, I'm honestly, I, I honestly believe he'll be stronger than me, like physically stronger than me. But um, technique will outdo strength all day long. So right. um, I'm going to try to keep my technique up to par. Um, so, I mean, I mean, besides that, like, I, I would just have to say experiences on my side and, you know, just uh, the composure I hold myself when I'm fighting as well. So, so prediction, if you'd be so bold. I, know, I mean, I know you're a confident man. Let's hear it, bro. I'm looking for a knockout, bro. First round, second. What are you looking I'm not, for? I don't want to be a I don't want to be one of them cocky dudes, but I mean, I'm, I'm looking for a knockout. Yeah. Well, whether, it's, it's, whether it's in the first round. Or he just, you know, we, we just beat each other up until it comes down to the last 10 seconds. I'm looking for a knockout, man. 
All right, so we'll close it out. How can the fans keep up with you, social media, as well as sponsors, you know, coaches, everything? I want to let you get out, you know, the last little bit you got to get out to shout out, man. All right, uh, this is Travis, nothing, something Kramer. Or Kramer. <laughs> but uh, uh, Facebook, uh, under Travis Kramer. Uh, on Instagram, it would be uh, nothing to something MMA 717, or uh, it's either that or nothing to something 717. But I believe it's nothing to something MMA 717 on Instagram. Those are the only two social medias I'm using right now. But um, check out for Fly High Supply. Uh, looking to drop here in the fall. It is my new clothing and accessory line. Um, super excited about that. But you can also look under uh, Instagram for that at Fly Fly High Supply. Instagram, and then uh, that's pretty much it. But uh, yeah, well, I don't have too many sponsors right now, but I will name them off. So no disrespect to those guys. But we got Alan Marshall over there at Ego Inc. Tattoo Parlor. Uh, we have my boy uh, Vito D. Piero. He was a rapper here in Harrisburg. This is his company right here. Uh, less than appreciative. He's out doing his thing. So shout out to him and his crew. Um, and then we have. Uh, Manny Rose Boxing, can't forget him. That's the main man right there. And then uh, Fly High Supply. So you look out, you know, for those guys and Fly High itself. Looking to drop that here in the fall. And that's going to be super fun. So everyone keep an eye out for that. All right, Travis, man. That'll do it for us, brother. It's it's always a pleasure to talk. It's always a pleasure to get up, man. I look forward to the fight. I'll be there fight night, so I'll definitely see you. I'll come stop by and say what's up. All right, bro. And I'll be doing live results that night. So uh, I appreciate you coming. Best of luck, brother. All right, thanks, man. All right, there he goes. Travis, nothing to something. Kramer ahead of his King of the Cage capital punishment bout against Tyler Collins coming up in just a couple of days in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. You do not want to miss this bout. In this article attached below, you can get your tickets. And for Travis, nothing to something. Kramer, I'm Adam Chris. Keep it locked to MyMMANews.com for all your fight news needs.